So I'm going to do a demonstration on oat groats today. Oat groats is oats that weren't rolled or weren't steel cut. They're simply the kernel. They have the husk taken off and they are a nubby, earthy, fabulous way of getting a whole grain. I use them even instead of rice because there's so much problem right now with arsenic being found in rice. It just takes it up. So I use oat groats in the morning for my oatmeal, but I use oat groats also throughout my week to um, combine with foods. Let me tell you how I do it. You can cook them on the stove. It's going to take over an hour. You can soak them overnight. It'll take maybe 40 to 45 minutes on the stove, but I love my Instant Pot. A couple of hours ago, before I did my morning exercise and my morning shopping, I took two ounce, oh, sorry, two cups of oat groats. This is what they look like. Let me see if you can see that. It's just, it looks like a wheat berry. Two cups of them, and I buy them pre, well, everything's pre-packaged now in the day of hope COVID, um, because otherwise you can get them in bulk bins. You can also find them online um, with different purveyors. But I use organic because oats are sprayed heavily with glyphosate that's Roundup, and I don't want any of that in me. And rinsing grains makes a lot of sense. Get yourself a good whisk or a good strainer. I put them under water, rinse them well, then put them in the pot, the Instant Pot. I follow that, the so two cups with three cups of, and I wanted you to see the steam because I want you to remember, it's three cups, and actually I get up to three and a quarter cups on that two cups of, um, oat groat. I add a little bit of salt to it, no more than a, oh gosh, a little more than a quarter of a teaspoon. And I pour that in over the groats in the Instant Pot. The reason I'm not doing that to show you is that I did that. I did that, gosh, three hours ago. What happens is you'll set your Instant Pot, set it for pressure, and you set it for five minutes. And then you start. Well, because it's uh, the oats have boiling water over them, it will hit pressure very, very quickly. But the key here is, and I learned this from Tammy at Nutmeg Notebook, and that's a great resource for learning whole food, plant-based cooking and preparation and in advance meal prep. Wonderful resource, as is Chef AJ. Well, before I took it off this morning, I did what I just said two cups of oats, three and three and a quarter cup of boiling water, a little bit of salt, put it in, five minutes, walked away. Well, that was three hours ago. You can leave it as long as you want, but at least two hours just sitting on warm, um, continuing to cook, which it will under pressure until the pressure is gone and then from the heat. This is what they look like. And the reason I have my plate here is that I will loosen them with a fork. I call oat groats them, it. And then I put it on a plate to cool off properly because I don't want it to be gummy. I want it to dry out in the air. I don't mean really dry out, but cool off in the air. How does this do you? Let me see. And there you go. I just mound that up. This is a big dinner plate. You could do it on a cookie sheet, on a half a cookie sheet. All right. And I never, ever finish like this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. My gosh, that's good. All right. Kind of spread them around. And then I put it somewhere where air can circulate underneath. I just put it on the um, stove, on the rack on the stove, but you can put it anywhere. And then let it cool off. Then you're going to package it and you're gonna put it in your refrigerator. You can put some in your freezer. This will last me about a week. With the food I eat, when I use it for oatmeal, I'll put it in a bowl. I use my microwave, but you don't have to. You can put it in a pan, 
put your oat groats, put a little bit of soy or almond milk. I put some um, of my husband's muesli in it because there's some uh, currants and some dried um, banana in there. And I like that extra flavor and cinnamon. And then just cook it to get it soft because, and I don't mean soft like instant oatmeal. I just mean that it, it turns it more into a bit of a porridge. Why do I love oat groats? Partially from the, for the flavor, but also they're highly nutritious, uh, high in fiber, B vitamins, polyunsaturated fat, um, the good fats, uh, the protein, you get protein from oat groats. I believe it's about uh, four or five grams of protein on a half a cup of them. And they're filling sometimes in the middle of the day or later in the day if I'm not going to have a meal, but I want something filling, I'll do oats in the, in the evening, uh, early evening, uh, rather than a meal with berries on them and bananas and um, uh, cinnamon, a little bit of soy milk. The soy milk gives you a lot of protein, nine grams per cup, as opposed to almond or, or most of the other milks that, that plant milks that don't. I am whole food plant-based, so I don't use any animal products and has been like that for two years and I'm healthier than I've been in, gosh, decades.